In this exercise, we're going to discuss the 3D View button. The 3D View button is up at the top of the screen, and it's selecting on the little house that says Default 3D View. When you pick on that, it will take you to the view named 3D from underneath 3D Views. What this means is it will always take you to the view named 3D underneath 3D Views. For instance, if we would double click up here where we have our floor plans on any of the floor plan levels that are there. When we double click, it'll bring up a different view. If you come up to the 3D view button and select on it, notice that it's automatically taking us back to that view called 3D. But it always takes us back to the view named 3D. So if we would right click under the project browser on the words 3D, come up to rename and rename this something different. I'm just calling this view one, two, three, and I'm gonna click on okay. We can now see that there's a 3D views and the views name is view one, two, three. Now this is the exact same view that that 3D views button was taking us to before. If we would select here inside of the 3D view, come up to the edge of the view cube and click one of the corners of the view cube, this is going to spin this building, which is halfway through its development process, around on the screen. Also, we can view the 3D view by holding down the shift key and the wheel at the same time on the mouse, so we can see it from all these different sides. But we're still inside of the view 1, 2, 3 as we do it. And if you come back up to the top and select on the default 3D view, we'll automatically create a new view that's called 3D. That's what it always does, is it will always create a view called 3D, or if you go to another view, in this case I double clicked on my view 1, 2, 3, it will take you back to the view named 3D when you select on the 3D view button. One other property of it is if you're working in what's called work sets, which means multiple people can be working in the project at the same time, if that's been enabled, then whenever you select on the 3D view button, it will have 3D and then your name after it. What this is indicating is that that's your default 3D view as opposed to other people who's working on the project's default 3D view. 3D views are great for being able to take a look at your model, zoom in and zoom out, and just get a better analysis as to what's been drawn on the screen up to that point. Now everybody might have different needs. As a result of that, everybody has their own default 3D view link over here on the side so that you can work inside of your own default 3D view without messing up anybody else's work. So the 3D view button is located up here at the top of the screen, looks like a little house, and when you select on it, it'll always take you back to a view named 3D.